guys and welcome back to another Zed Shelter episode. Today we're going to continue on raiding, but first before we get there, we have some lucky chests to open. So first, opening the weapon box, see if we can get lucky here at all. Iron pick. We'll use that rating. I'm not going to be so uh, upset about that one. Armor box. 10 copper ore, so I guess it gives me 2 copper. It's not ideal, I was hoping for better items, but such is the way it goes. Sometimes the lucky box is not as lucky as you would like. Ooh, a level 99. This is the first time I've seen a level 99 on Zed Shelter, so that's gotta be developer or hacker. Not sure if I want to touch that person. Prosperity's probably a lie. Okay, so we have a 20,000 here. His rank's pretty good. His credit is fairly similar to ours. We got a 64,000, a 26,000, a 37,000. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the 26,000 here. And we're going to give this guy a shot. Hopefully, little defenses. Many resources, little defenses. That's what I'm looking for here. So definitely now with our rank getting higher and our credit getting higher, we are starting to get into the points where you have to be a little more tactful when you're raiding and you might not always come out with the victory. Okay, so wood all the way around, animals on the far side, he's probably put them there simply because that's where the zombies come in, so we'll stay away from that side of his base. Looks like it might be easier to enter up here, it's less guarded and less defended. So that's where we're going to go. Scarecrow inside. What else was that? Just a scarecrow. Okay. I'm full on expecting this to be... Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I was think I thought it was going to be the... Um, the motorcycle. Okay, yeah. But it seems to be this is just a walled-in defense area. Okay, so there's an auto crossbow. So I want to hide behind the wall a little bit. Okay. I'm unsure then where this is going to go. Okay. Well, we're going to let this continue to shoot me. It's not doing damage. Once it's done shooting, we'll be back. Okay guys, the auto crossbow is done. Not doesn't have any more rounds left, but now the danger is there are zombies that have come. And it seems like I'm now going against a stone wall, which I would assume is the last one before I actually bust into his base. Okay. So that auto crossbow is done. But I wanted to shoot it so that way I can get to the next one. Okay. Bike traps, no. You want to just kind of inch your way over towards the other turret. I don't think it's working. Nope, okay, the other turret is dead. There is another auto crossbow somewhere, but it's not doing damage to us, so we'll work on these chests. Let um, me open up the worst one first. Okay, well, at least that one's taken care of. Okay, here we go. We'll take some of these, take all of that, and we'll change that as we go. But that's some good maple wood that we're picking up. I am not sure where his flag is at, though. We'll drop the leather to take the copper. I probably should take the... Uh, iron but we'll see if that I think that animal is coming in for us 
Yep, here it is. Oh, hidden. Let's see if I can sneak on it. And I was able to sneak on it and kill it. What a chump. Oh, it seems that his flag might be in the that top mess. Okay, so we'll take the nails over the planks. The reason I'm keeping the rods is I'm probably going to need some to make some more um, tools soon. We're going to run out of luck though, I think. And the reason I say that is I think the zombies are going to come and end this before I would like. Unless they don't find me here. No, we want to leave all those behind too. Mm, still nothing of, of greater value. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, now it's doing damage. Okay, for whatever reason, it started doing damage there. Didn't do damage before. Okay, and let's just try to go here. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go up. And see, right there is, I think, why I have so much time with the di difficulty with the departed is just because right there I was pressing up and my guy was running down towards where the damage was. So I just think that the the emulator is not ideal for when there's many things going on. I think it gets lost. So I'm gonna have to try and find a way to make that better. But we're gonna run with what we got because we have a lot of zombies here and uh, it's probably not gonna be wise to stick around. So we're just going to call it. See, look at all those guys coming in. Yep, we're going to get out while we can. Take what we got. Not terrible. The maple wood is a big score. The copper is a big score. And finding that flag was excellent. We just take one step closer to uh, diamond rank. But see, now this is a type of rating, though, that you end up getting into. It just becomes more resource consumption is higher. And is the difficulties definitely increases people actually have somewhat some sort of defenses set up and you end up staying there so long that you uh, you in, in, engage in, and you trigger many many zombies which isn't always good okay so let's see who is the new kid on the block we have a 7,000 well, let's go take care of this guy nice and quick we want to we want to capitalize on the lower prosperity mostly because the credit is still the big thing we're going for sometimes they have resources we want sometimes they don't but when the easy credits there you got to take the easy credit okay so the flag is somewhere in this front corner here doesn't seem like Oh, he's got some defenses trying to set up on the far side. But yeah, nothing on this this side where everyone comes in. So we're going to go right for the for the flag. Knock that down first. And then we'll see what kind of chests he has. Yep, that's not where the flag is. The flag's going to be right here. Don't hit that wall. Okay, flag is down, zombies are incoming, but we'll see how much they actually show up. Okay, what do you got for us? Uh, it's a start. What else is there? Are you an active guy? You are active. Okay, Brutus, you're almost dead. That surprised me that he actually had an active turret. It is now taken off the grid. So I gotta be a little bit more careful then. I was uh, 
I was kind of running in a bit strong there and just thinking everything was going to be okay. A little cocky, I guess. Alright, um... Now we'll, we'll leave all of that. We'll just have to take care of all of these, because we can't rely on Brutus anymore because he's got no health, and I did not bring any bones or anything for him. Okay, what's going to be behind door number one? Why am I going for this door? I mean, there's a lot of chests in here, so that's good, but I should have went for the easier one. Why don't you stack? I don't know why they never stack. Just seems dumb. Got all of those already. There's some more bolts. Some more, more leather. We'll put the plates there. And now I am filling up the bottom taxed area just because I know that this is just going to be a, a slightly of an easier raid than the previous guy. So I will have time to kind of sort sort it out and figure it out eventually. I'm not going to be as pressed for time and have to make the quick exit and not have the ability to, to figure out exactly what I want to keep. So that is why I'm doing it here and I didn't do it on the previous raid. So I'm guessing these ones might be his weapons and armor. So I would not be surprised if they're empty. I was wrong. They're not weapons and armor. It's just more junk. No organization to the uh, items in this base whatsoever. Okay. And we'll just bop this door because I'm lazy. You don't want to have to run all the way around. Oh, I can't take that anyway. That's a full 20 stack there. How much is this? 171 in taxes already, though. Ooh, okay. What do I take now? Uh, it's a lot easier to make these than it is to find the, uh, the maple wood. So we're going to take the maple wood over that. And is that all of the chests that this guy has? It does appear to be that way. I don't see anything here. I don't see any more in this bottom corner either. So that's going to be it for this guy. We're going to have to go and find another victim soon enough. But before we get to our next victim, we're definitely going to need to step in uh, to our... Oh, wait. Oh, why did I do that? No. I didn't... Ah. Uh, ah, uh, this is... I, I messed up. I didn't clear out all of this. How do I get myself... How do I save myself from this? Do I close it? Victory, I probably didn't get any of that. What a waste. That was a that was a mistake. Trying to be smart in the strats and I didn't complete the strategy and I lost everything. Which really is just two copper and a maple wood was really the loss there. The rest of those items there I can find them easily outside it just takes time but yeah that's disappointing that's just a that's just a mental mistake there it happens it not uh, not everything always goes smoothly so I go over to the mail oh wait ah I see I guess because I didn't have enough coins it just gave me what I had so I go here I saw the 131 huh that's not what I expected to happen. I expected them to kind of say sucks to suck and you lose it all. So yeah, that's that's a solid score in my book. All right, we're already back to find our next victim. And yeah, I'm thinking it might be this individual here with only 18905. 
let's uh, let's give him a shot and let's see what we uh, what we'll encounter. I'm hoping not substantial defenses, but you never quite know. You can still get quite a good defense with only 18,000 prosperity. Although it does make me think he might not have a dire wolf, but it is possible if he doesn't have enough structure. Okay, so there definitely is a crossbow. Two crossbows, turret. A whole bunch of chests. A black bear and a boar. Okay. So then we just kind of run in the front door, I guess. And we take on the black bear and the boar right away. Well, I mean, if there's going to be a chest right here, let's just uh, have a little peek here first. Nothing that I can take. That's lame. So if I can sneak in on this. I couldn't really sneak very well, but... Black bear is gone. The boar does a lot of damage. Okay, so those are taken care of. Okay, so the next... Mm, bike traps adequately placed. I won't be able to target that. Scarecrows, lame. Okay, so if I bop down this door... Bop that auto turret. That auto turret is now dead. And then I can come from the top side and get rid of that minigun turret. Perfect. Alright, so now we can really go and raid all of the chests. Okay, so we'll take the leather. Just because I use a lot of it making the machetes and such. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to grab those. Okay, we're definitely going to have to get the flag at some point. There's some solid copper for us, some copper ore. Okay, what else do we need here? Some more leather. Pull that all the way up. Um, oh, we won't take the bolts. But we will drop this flag right now. So if we do have to make a quick escape, we can. Because we don't have the shoes anymore because we lost those for, from durability. More copper ore. Excellent. Throw some bolts in there. It does have a lot of chests though, which is kind of nice. Gives it a lot of opportunity to uh, get a lot of things. But I'm hoping I can run into some more copper somewhere. Maybe there's some nails, some more leather. Okay, so now I guess we start on the big boy chests and we'll see how many of those we can open. Nothing of value. I'm going to stay away from the ones that they've marked. I'll open those last. Just because typically they've been marked in the past. They've kind of always been what they've been marked. So I'm trusting it that if it says it's a uh, close, we can't get it anyway. So we'll just leave those as is. Perfect. Some more copper. I wish I could take you. Okay. Dude, that could all very well be all food. Ooh, some gold ore, but we don't have space for that. Um, we'll have to leave all those. Hopefully this is a goodies chest. Lots of goodies for me, come on. More steel, some more gold, some more nails, some more bolts. 
Uh, gonna have to leave all of that. This is when I wish I could take more things. Okay, more chests, more chests, more chests. So many chests here to open. Gotta be careful though, so I don't get overrun with the zombies though. Oh, I could be getting overrun with the zombies and I just don't know it yet. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, so many zombies. Okay. Actually, I could probably take this guy. I was thinking at first we might be, not be able to. Bam. Took him out. Very little consequence. Okay. Dogs out there fighting. Holding them off. Empty chest. I really just want to see if he's going to have more copper somewhere for me. Not there. Okay, that's a dead end. I guess we can lap them around maybe a little bit. Let Doug continue to fight him. Alright, and now I'm out. And now all my armor is gone. Okay. Okay. Yep, I'm in trouble here. I gotta go. Because it's a floater. It's a floater, it's a floater, it's a floater. Cannot hang around for the floater. That is it. We have to go. Oh, look at all these baddies here. Good thing I can run through solid objects. Oh, that was a half decent raid. Got a lot of stuff for copper, which is excellent. Some nails. Didn't get any iron ingots though, which we kind of needed. But we got the flag. It's better send and settle. Network error. Don't do this to me. Well, I'm going to sit here and try and make it work. Oh, there it goes. No more network error. 2421. Moving up. So, but that was a half decent raid. It was a good little strat there to get rid of all of his turrets. But uh, too many zombies came and I wasn't prepared to fight all of them. So, but that's going to be it for this raiding episode, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.